Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be quite an exciting vlog and quite eventful as well. I'm super excited. I go to pick up my new car today at 10 a.m. It's currently 8 in the morning. I just got out the shower. I'm going to get ready. And honestly, I haven't really mentioned anything about this like leading up to this moment on my socials or anything because I wasn't planning on buying a car when I did. I purchased it last night, but I go to pick it up today because I bought it like kind of late in the day and they still had to like clean it in detail and everything. But <laughs> she just had my chain in her mouth, cookie. No. I was definitely looking for a new car for the last couple months. I just didn't think I would actually get one with the car market right now, but I actually ended up finding a great deal from the same place that I actually got my Volvo from, I think like two or three years ago. Now it'll be in June. And I honestly love my Volvo. I said the same thing with my very first car, my Lancer, when I got rid of it to get the Volvo. I love it. I loved all of my cars from the first one, the second one, and now the third one. But I am so beyond blessed and grateful that I'm even able to do and purchase the things that I do. And I know there's always going to be hate comments, but honestly, you can do the same if you get a good job, work hard, and save wisely. And people are shocked when I tell them this, but you don't even need college to do it either. I know, it's shocking. Whenever I tell people that, they're like, you didn't go to college. Like, you need to go to college. You're not going to be successful if you don't go to college. There are other ways than just going to college that, you know, you can have a successful life and be able to make dream purchases. That's literally all it takes. I have been very open about my job situation on my YouTube. YouTube has been the number one job that kept me afloat. When I was like 14, 15, 16, and even 17, it kept me going for a couple years and it actually is what bought me my first car in cash, which was my Lancer. I do have a whole nother full-time job. YouTube is kind of like a side thing now. Um, that's why I don't post as much, but I still do love making vlogs for you guys and like recording my life and sharing it with you guys. Quick outfit of the day, this cropped zip up from Sheen. I also have these American Eagle dark ripped jeans. And then I'm probably just gonna pair it with some black sneakers or maybe i can go with like these or oh i think i'm gonna wear these high tops cookie i'm getting you a car she's tired one of the last drives with the volvo i honestly love this car and i am not going to be doing a trade-in i already took all my bling stuff off it's raining today it's kind of cold i didn't know it'd be this cold i'm gonna put all my salesman's information over here but he is amazing and i'm so glad that i was able to work with him if you guys are around the 18045 area like easton nazareth bethlehem like even allentown area i would definitely definitely recommend the kia dealership on william penn highway so if you guys are looking for a car and are in that area i will put the exact address here i literally love them so much and i'm so happy that i was able to make yet again another deal with them so a big shout out to them and a big shout out to william like i said i'm still gonna technically have this car because i'm not like trading it and getting rid of it um so it's just gonna be parked until i end up selling it but it is now time to go in and like kind of finalize everything. I saw it parked in the back and it looks so fresh, clean, and nice. Like I'm so excited. Here's his business card if you guys want to take a screenshot that has all of his information on it as well. You guys, this is literally going to be my first drive with it. I did test drive it, and I know that it drives very, very smooth. You already know we're going to be using all the heated features because I'm freezing. I love this, like, so much. Like, oh, my God, I can't wait to, like, basically customize this and, like, hook up all my stuff and make it all my settings. But, yeah, this is the charger on the inside very clean car overall like no scratches no like leather marks yeah i'm gonna drive home and i will see you guys when we get there as far as the exterior looks it has a cute little spoiler on the back it has the led bar i did take off the dodge emblem as well i did order like lens tinnings i definitely don't want to black out the light bar because i really do like, like the neon effect that it gives but it's just gonna be like a tinted out strip for here. I'll insert a picture. It has the 
keyless entry as well as the remote start from the fob, blind spot monitoring. So here is a list of all the features. Here's the exterior, which I kind of briefly went over with you guys. If you guys were interested, you can pause and read all this if you want, but I'm basically gonna skip to all the good stuff that like people actually pay for. Okay, starting with like the ones that I'm probably gonna be using the most and ones that are the most important to me because I'm constantly freezing. Um, are the heated options gives you heated seats for the driver and the passenger as well as in the back There's two buttons back here down under the AC unit It also has vented seats for the driver and the passenger, which is really really nice it, like literally blows air and cools you off which is gonna be nice for the summer as well as a heated steering wheel which works really quickly the same with the heated seats it's amazing obviously it has all like kind of the basic stuff it has the bluetooth the phone hookup and everything it also has navigation which was a really really big thing for me the map comes up on this lcd screen which i love it has a digital dash your engine temperature your gas as well as the gear that you're in which the gear shifter is really really cool i love it it has a sport mode i'm not really sure what this back button is i'm assuming since it's like with a sport button it's probably for like rear wheel driving i don't know this is an all-wheel drive car like i said though it has the backup camera as well as parking sensors which i really really wanted parking sensors in a future car something that my volvo doesn't have my volvo does have a backup camera but uh no sensors and it would have saved me from an accident and it also tells me when a car is coming from the left and the right it like beeps to let me know like cars are like coming um, I'm trying to think of what else. I know this thing is like loaded with features. It has presets for um, your powered seats in the front. Another heated feature, it has heated mirrors as well, which would be great for in the winter time. These windows are also heated as well. It's super cool, I don't know. It has also the Beats speakers in them, like built in. The stereo system in here is amazing. Cruise control, sunroof, which my last car did have. It also has a like built-in garage opener which i really really love i used to have like a like separate remote so it's really nice that it's built in all right we're hitting the first fill up hopefully it's not too expensive but honestly i'm kind of preparing myself because number one not only is gas in itself for any car super expensive right now but this is like kind of a race car like it's a fast car. My Volvo had very, very good speed as well. The model Volvo that I had is actually a race car in Germany. Like, how in America, like, these cars are race cars, like WRXs and all that. A Volvo is like a WRX in Germany, so that's pretty cool. I definitely do love, like, the sporty look. Um, it was either going to be classy or sporty, and I went with sporty, which I'm really happy about. My first car was sporty, my second one was classy, and now my third car is sporty again, which I love. I'm so excited to do this car up properly and the right way, make it look super nice. I already have an idea for modifications that I'm gonna be doing to it. However, I don't wanna make it look goofy and I don't wanna do too much to it, like unnecessary stuff. I'm gonna be tinting the windows. I don't want them too dark because I don't want this to look like a drug car because um, it's gonna be like all black then because it is like a pure black paint. I'm really curious to see <laughs> How much this takes oh 70 71 dollars that's not horrible it's not the best i'm really banking on gas coming down soon but um if not it's not like the worst thing in the world like i said my volvo is bad on gas like it's literally 80 a week to fill for my volvo i know your car is like 30 dollars to fill up 40. wow up here it tells me how many miles i have till e i have 317 with a full tank which is amazing this car has like literally a great dashboard to like prop a camera up and film without like needing an actual tripod but it is now like a week and a half later a week or two and there are so many cool features that i've discovered just as i've been driving it like it gave me a severe thunderstorm warning which was really nice and then it showed me like a whole forecast of like the weather which i thought was a very cool safety feature and convenient also here are some mats that i got off of amazon they are custom fit obviously for the charger and i am gonna buy custom fit weather tech mats so they're easy to clean and keep clean but yeah i honestly love everything about it i've literally been wanting to do like my errands and wanting to drive places just so i can drive my car i do still have a couple purchases that i'm gonna be making for this car like i said about the floor mats as well as spikes for the back like by the exhaust i want to wait till summer for those so i'm definitely going to be doing more to it like 
in the months to come. Another really cool setting that I discovered while I was like messing with settings and just like driving it, basically when I turn my car on, like my seat adjusts for me. So it goes back whenever I like turn off my car so it's easier for me to get out and get in and then every time I start my car it like brings me up to like my positioning. I also noticed it has a mirror dimmer as well when people have like super bright like high beams or headlights behind me. It automatically dims those for me so that's another nice safety feature. Like I said, please don't forget to check out my amazing car dealership and salesman. All the information will be over here if you are in the area. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what car you drive or what your dream car is if you don't drive. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and bye guys.